Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. We are reading on you and your environment, someone in your environment, the energy surrounding you today. Keep in mind, it's not for each and every Cancer placement. Make sure you check your other ones, previous future reads for more different information. I love you. Okay, what's up for Cancer? Oh, Cancer, what is going on? Someone feels like they got the better of you here. Look at this. You see the person in the background with all the coin, okay? I'm getting that you're making way, like you're getting away from someone who was using you or who just didn't pay up in some way. Like, this is someone who could have been very mischievous or was like a trickster here, Cancer, all right? I feel like there's someone in this person's environment that doesn't agree with how they behave toward you. Like, and this is their friend? Like, someone that's their friend is like, listen, you know, you're not, you're not treating Cancer right. Like, maybe you shouldn't be doing that there. But it's not like they listen. You're dealing with, like, a mischievous energy or this person has been mischievous. You could feel like you're packing up and leaving when they got the better end of the bargain. They got the better end of the deal here. Okay, Cancer, because... Maybe you had to leave, you like, you feel like you're leaving with nothing or this person owes you, but it's like best for you to just get away. Okay. Also seeing something about a picnic. So that could be someone's message. Like maybe you have a picnic going on here. Okay. So I am also seeing you're, you're in this reading, Cancer, you're thinking about someone that's far away from you and all the trouble you went through in this in this situation, okay? With a heavy heart, that's kind of what I'm getting. So with a heavy heart, you had to leave. This person thinks it's funny. Like this is like someone who, like you could be telling them, I feel so sad. I feel bad about, you know, how you're treating me or the situation. Like I want to fix it. And they just kind of laugh or they mock you or they don't think it's very serious. Like they don't take you seriously, Cancer. Okay, but now I feel like you're reflecting on this. So this could have already happened. I just feel like you're reflecting on this or it's coming up, okay? Uh, you feel like you've lost some of your innocence here is what I'm seeing. Like it's almost as though maybe you felt trusting okay and you felt loving and you felt opening uh open and welcoming toward people toward this person and now it's more like you're saying it was some sort of idea that you had or an illusion that you had about this person that wasn't real they're not who you thought or they're not who you wanted them to be specifically wanted them to be so you could have been in a situation where you guys were trying to change each other and nitpicking or something like this okay like you oh man it's like you're fighting for someone to treat you properly and they just didn't okay and the thing is you might be dealing with someone cancer who i'm okay i'm getting a, a, like a different I'm just going to tell you, okay, this is not going to be everybody, but some of you guys, this could be someone who has very strange um, or different likings, especially when it comes to like sensuality or sexuality um, compared to you, okay? So like you could be like, well, that's a little out of bounds for me, like something uncomfortable about that. Now, for some of you, this could be someone who liked uh, certain things that you weren't really comfortable with, okay? Or this may be someone who was fascinated with uh, their same gender or uh, something about an age group is what I'm picking up here, okay? You feel like this person never took their eyes away from a certain individual or they were like caught up in some sort of lifestyle here. Okay. Um, I'm picking up something like, okay, for some of you, I'm just going to say it. Some of you, this is someone who liked to, who was really into like, I don't know, like, uh, what are those S S workers? Okay. Or something like that. I just don't want to say it on the channel. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I'm just saying, all right. So let's pull. 
yeah, it's like something a little bit out of bounds for you. Like for you specifically. I'm not saying in general. Like I'm not trying to call people out or cast judgment on people because that's not what I'm doing here. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Oh, this is... It's like you were at home while this person was out, like, partying, or this person was watching people on a stage, okay? For example, this person was, you know, spending their time and money to give to, maybe this is an S worker, okay? This could be like a like a dancer, for, for example, uh, just as an example, and they take money from you, or they take money from you and your kids, or money from you and your children here, and they're out there, like, partying, paying for their friends, or paying, like, something, something, hmm. Show me Cancer's vibe here. Or like they were they were taking the money and giving it to another lover. Or like they were taking money and entertaining another lover. So Cancer, you're in the nine of wands here. The three of wands. Yeah. Okay. Right now, see, you're learning. Okay. You're learning right now through all these trials and tribulations of the Nine of Wands. It's like, okay, if I don't do something now, it's never going to switch up. So I feel like you have this idea that you need to start focusing on yourself or loving yourself. You're learning how to see yourself here because it feels like you could have been in a situation where someone was making you feel you weren't valued because in this energy here, it's you by yourself. And then there's two people and two people. Okay. And you're left alone at home, you know, I don't know, cooking, cleaning, whatever you're doing here. Or like this person left you alone a lot at night, especially you're sitting here wondering why, like why me? Why is this happening? Anyway, now you're realizing I need to do something because this is wounded warrior energy and you're feeling like you're spent. Okay. This energy has made you feel spent. You could feel like, you know, you and yourself is not on track. Um, could be something about your energy level or your appearance even that you're looking forward to getting back into, um, into shape is what I'm hearing. So you you're getting back to the way that you can love yourself better. And this is about you caring for yourself pretty much. This is what you're looking forward to. You do have victory when it comes to that energy here. Okay. I just feel like I feel like now, because you've been alone, it's like you're, you've learned how to be alone or from this energy specifically, whoever this is. Yeah, the five of wands. This has been some type of like struggle that you're just over with. Oh man, look at the 10. Look at the 10 of cups here and the full card. Yeah, you're over the struggle like you you may have felt like you had to like prove yourself or you were trying to prove to this person why you were right why they needed to change how it was affecting you but this is not someone who cared this is not someone who you feel like supported you or cared okay they were some of you interested in money interested in what you could do for them interested in how you supported them but it wasn't reciprocated and again they were out there doing something else okay yeah, sometimes if there's a cross watcher, yes, this can resonate for you too. Mm -hmm. So six of cups, ace of wands, and the queen of pentacles. So this is someone who's coming back or they've been attempting to come back or get things back on track with you. For some, this is a an earth sign. Okay, could be a Capricorn. Um or this is about a Capricorn here. You don't see how this would work with this individual. All right. I'm hearing strapped. Somebody could be strapped or strapped for cash here is what I'm getting. Yeah, the two of cups. It's like you still have a soft spot for somebody who wasn't good to you. or, or um, I mean, that happens. But it's like you know that you're... Dealing with something psychological as it relates to this person and it's becoming more clear. So your your bond with this individual has been kind of like, I'm hearing a shocker to your psyche. Okay, what else? So there's two of swords. 
Wow. Yeah, it's time for healing, Cancer. You have a lot of energy here talking about healing and promoting your healing moving forward. This is definitely about getting to calmer waters and moving through difficult energies because you actually have support of uh, spirit guides, of universe, of God, whatever it is that you believe. That's what you have the support of right now, okay? So it might take some time. You could be deciding if you need to cut them off here, especially if there's an opportunity to communicate because this is someone who's trying to come in. They're trying to, I don't know why, it feels like they don't want to let you go somehow. They want to keep you in this eight of swords, you know. But you have been undervalued and you're aware of this now, okay? This is what I'm seeing. So... Yeah, you're being guided. You do have spiritual support here, maybe angelic support for some. This is what I'm seeing. So space and distance and, and healing is very important. Love you so very much, Cancer. Feel free to check previous future reads for more or different information. Friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, Peep and Tom, Peep and Tony down the street, check their placements too so we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love you. Bye.